I've got a really new technology called a bacteria count. And what it does is using a swab, I can wipe something down, put it in this device, and it tells me the exact count of bacteria organisms that are on any surface electronically. In order to pass the swab test, a surface needs a count of under 2,500 bacterial organisms. If it's more than that, it fails the test. Oh my god, four million organisms are in that very spot. She didn't look like that. It looks like a margarita for crying out loud. Oh, for sake. I mean, that's, uh... I'm just getting rid of the flies. <laughs> You're getting up with them on your dinner every night. Go! I spat no one once, no one twice. Just don't. Yes, that's the order. order. These have been cooked a long time. Greasy. The sauce is all burnt into it. No good. The food is... There's no Irish food in this bar whatsoever. If you go into an Irish bar, I want Irish food. I want Irish passion on a plate. Chef, if this is any worse than the bar, we're in big freaking trouble. We got some problems, John. Look at this. This chicken. Packy, what's the ideal temperature for this chicken? 40, you think, shouldn't it? 40 around right, 40 right. below. All right. 55. 56. It's all garbage. Seriously, John, it's bull It's absolute bull I've never had anybody really say that my wings are bad, ever. When I asked you what temperature this should be, what did you say? 40 degrees. You freaking knew it! You knew it! And you served it anyway. You're no better than him with the flies! Do you understand you're gonna get somebody sick? You'll kill him! I want nothing to do with this place. Let's get out of here, guys. I'm done. Kids don't go to college, I lose the house. If, he, if John Taffer doesn't come back, I'm, I'm done. Can you pour me a dark as you? Absolutely. Mugs in the bar, too. Oh, boy. Clearly has raw product, raw pork, mind you. What raw food is he touching now? <laughs> There's no sanitation. There's no hand washing, there's no gloves being used, there's no separation from raw to cooked product. I don't know how he lasted eight months. Look at that bowl. Oh, look at that. That bowl has not been cleaned since this place opened. The pea drop. Oh. And they're yep. putting that over food. This is inexcusable, absolutely. It's just pouring it properly. Right off. Right. And the keg is cast. <laughs> Cake. Are you kidding you me? You don't have another cake. Mm -mm. Look at everything that's in front of me. And then look at the over. Holy right. The first thing that hit my tongue was a very, very hard metallic taste. Oh, oh dude. That's bad. Right when it hit the bottom of my stomach, I knew something was wrong. My stomach started curdling. Beer starts to go bad after around three months. So I'm thinking the cake had to have been sitting there for at least a year. Any chance you can check on some food for me to see how, how we're doing? I am. We're 29 minutes in. OK. Don't growl at me. I'm just wondering how long he's asking. One person. Oh. See, here comes the food for Chef Duffy. We got some chips and queso and some chips and salsa. Fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. Very nice. Hey, Michelle, do you have a bathroom? Do we have a bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Um, Right back there to the left. I think this might come up right now. Fairways, burgers? Three fairways, medium. Yes. Yes, sir. Just so you know, medium doesn't bleed, so I got bloody medium. You guys make your own salsa in-house? We do. You do. Oh, my god, he threw up. Caitlin, did you see where my buddy went, by chance? Can you I'll go check. check. For me? Thank you very much. I think you got my voice sick. I mean, it's sick. <laughs> One sip of beer made this guy throw up. Dude's throwing up. The what? Dude's throwing up in the bathroom. Off of what? I don't know. We took out the chips and salsa and stuff, and now he's throwing up. Oh, that's Kevin, come out here. This is your kitchen? Yep. So you're responsible to clean it every day? Sure. I mean, you just served me a mushroom on it. Where'd you learn how to cook? Culinary Academy. So you graduated from culinary school? Yes. Can you do me a favor? Where's the salsa that you served me on the outside? I want you to taste that salsa for me. What do you think about that? It tastes like and It's bubbling. Because the bacteria has grown so far that it's 
bubbling, dude. What's that? What do we do this with this? Richard, that touches food. Disgusting. All of this winds up in the food. That's our return air right there. According to you, when was this last inspected? 2010. 2010. So this thing hasn't been cleaned in three years. This is what's dripping on your food and gonna burn your restaurant down. This is our uh, grease filtration system. So why is it that you just don't clean? We do. When? Uh, it's a nightly thing. I You're full of I clean uh, daily. It is definitely clean enough to serve food. When was the last time you physically went in and scrubbed out a fryer? Last night. And this is all the goodness that I'm pulling out of the bottom of here. So these are our clean fryers that were cleaned out last night. Just so everybody knows. I didn't realize how bad it was. Kevin knows his way around the kitchen, so uh, never even thought twice about it. Chef? Yes? I just have to note this. What is sitting here at room temperature? Chicken. You can That's smell That's raw chicken. I'll bet it's still, it's not in the danger zone yet. What temperature is that? 57.2. 57 degrees. Chicken should never be over 40 degrees. What temperature is this, Steve? 68.7 degrees. Throw it out. Good job, chef. Look at it. Is there any mold on the inside of this walk-in? I don't think so, no. You don't think so? Look at the mold all over the floor. There's three significant areas of mold. Not a Oh! This isn't healthy for you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Toxic black mold is rare but dangerous. These molds damage vital parts of the human body, including the lungs and immune system, and are potentially fatal. Because toxic mold can spread easily through air vents, any infestations found in one area of the bar can render the entire building unsafe. What's this walk in? Oh, f me. No f way. This is a board. Oh, dude, you got mushrooms growing in your walk in. Spores. They have their own unique smell. You don't want to be breathing that stuff in. Look at this! Oh my god. Get the f out of here! Get the f out of here! This is unbelievable! Dude. Check Steve Wesley! I gotta have this tested. If this is black mold, we are all in trouble. I'm out of here! This place is dangerous for Christ's sakes! Nobody eats this freaking food! We just get a burger. How do you want it cooked? Uh, medium. All right. Okay, cool. Just got it. Great, great, right. right. cool. Oh, at least we're gonna cook our bacon. You there's know what this onion? guy's doing? Right after he touched the raw bacon. There's oh. our onion. Now the raw is on the, on the cutting board. Bingo, health violation. There we go. There's the patties. Frozen no, burger. It's patty. frozen. Berno, I'm John Taffer. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice sir. to meet you too. I saw you put a hamburger on the grill. Yeah. And I watched you for 14 minutes not turn that hamburger over. The hamburger was burnt. The guests couldn't eat it. The reason why you're not selling food, I think, is that you're lazy. And for a guy who's been working in a kitchen 19 years, you know better. No, this is not the army, OK? Don't talk to me like that. Let me tell you what he does, Sal. He goes into the refrigerator. He pulls out a raw piece of bacon, puts it on a cutting board with your bare hands, raw pork. Then a couple of minutes later, he puts the salad right on top from where the pork was. You didn't wash your hands? You didn't wash yes, the I cutting board? No, you did what not. Every time, no, you every did time not. I wash my hands, you're lying. You did every not. Every time I wash you're my hands. What happens when you put raw pork on lettuce and send it out in the dining room? What happens, Roberto? Oh, yeah, it, it, it gets contaminated. It's in irresponsible, years, and it's illegal. In 19 years, nobody got sick here. You don't know that. Food poisoning can happen in an hour, or it can take days. Roberto has cross-contamination all over this kitchen, so I don't know how many people have gotten sick here. This device measures bacteria content on surfaces. OK. So okay. the only thing so that this device is going to check, and I'm going to see right now whether we're getting people sick or not. Any count over 2,500 is a failure. I'm just touching surfaces that a hand would touch. We have 199,308 counts of bacteria, which is a failing grade. So guess what you're doing tonight? You're cleaning a kitchen like you should have. You clean a kitchen, I come back tomorrow. Chef, we go through this whole place with the swab tomorrow. If it isn't clean, I'll get a cook who will clean it, and it won't be you. If you want to fire this, Sam. You come fire me. Listen to this. Don't talk to me like that, because I'm not it. What I care about is your irresponsible you know and lazy. You know what? 
you. You say you to me, you don't like it, walk out of here. You want me to treat you like a man? Act like one. Good night. You gotta clean the whole kitchen. I don't supposed to do the cleaning here. I, I, I'm... So this isn't your responsibility? You're supposed to keep it clean. You don't want to do it. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Chef, give us a yeah. quick look. All right. So we're gonna give it a couple of quick swabs just on some of the surfaces. Now, last night we had a count of 190,000. Not a pretty number. Our count right now is zero. Well, thank you. Roberto, congratulations. And thank, thank you. Sorry about what happened last night. Me too. Let me get an order of wings and then a brisket. Brisket? Do I pay here or? Yeah, you pay here. This is an incredibly inconvenient way to take care of guests. They got separate registers for the front of the house and the back of the house. It is divided. Why did it take you so long? One guy is both cooking and cashier and poor. This bar is known for barbecue. The food should be fresh off the grill, not stored in containers. Wow, that brisket is dry. This bar's a legacy, and, and they've let the legacy go down the drain. That is a lot of sauce. Thank you. Look at that mess. <laughs> the brisket is dry as hell. I, honestly, I don't understand how they're so dry with so much sauce. It's a lot of sauce. Can you taste the meat? I mean, I can tell the meat is there because I'm chewing it. Want me to take it back for you? I'm not going to finish it. Yeah, please. OK, sweetie. I'm scared about the kitchen. Don't worry, it's good. Ruth publicly shamed Alan's food. Now the customers are afraid to eat it. For every person that complains about their food, there's 26 quiet people that just don't come back. Alan, this is the chef Alan, that John sent. I'm Chef Beck. So what we got going, Chef? Kind of seen a few things going on that I got a question. You know, you're letting meat sit out in unsafe temperatures. You know about danger zones? Under 40, over 140. Either you don't know or you don't care. I care, and I know. Anything between is a breeding ground for bacteria. That can make somebody sick. What temperature you think this meat is? 114. This should be over 140 degrees. Is this your good old macaroni and cheese? OK, it's cheese. It's got dairy in it. You're at 73. You're going to give someone the bro. Alan does not listen to me. I can't help someone that doesn't want help. That goes both ways. OK, when have you, you told me something listen, in the morning? Listen to me. I'll listen to you. You're not always right. Not you're, not that's perfect. what your actions I'm say, bro. That's what your actions. I know, actions. I, know I know I can cook. Alan. People were throwing it in the garbage. So look at this gasket, guys. Yep. You can see the filth on my finger, but watch this, guys. I got a really new technology called a bacteria count. And what it does is using a swab, I can wipe something down, put it in this device, and it tells me the exact count of bacterial organisms that are on any surface electronically. In order to pass the swab test, a surface needs a count of under 2,500 bacterial organisms. If it's more than that, it fails the test. Oh my god. Four million organisms are in that very spot. What does that word say on the bottom? Results fail. If I go through the kitchen with a pocket full of these swabs, what is that screen going to say to me every time? Well, that's not a doubt. I'm not doing my job. If I see this reading again, I will fire your ass personally. And I'll love every minute of it, because this is infuriating to me. That's why management has to manage. I see the look on your face, Brad. You're disappointed, aren't you? A little bit. You got a half a million in this place, man. I want you pissed off. There's some stuff that I'm hearing that I don't want to hear. I think the cooks have to take responsibility for keeping the stuff clean. And if they can't figure that out, we'll have to find someone that can. I am going to go through this kitchen tomorrow with this device, and it better freaking be clean. Your ass is on the line. Let's go to work, guys. One downfall in the kitchen is unacceptable. It can't happen. Right now, I feel pretty embarrassed. It's a learning lesson. Before the kitchen can open for the night stress test, John makes sure the staff passes the bacteria swab test. So guys, I want to test this one last time. Remember, anything over a reading of 2,500 fails. If they don't pass this bacteria test, 
one or all of them are getting fired, and they deserve it. Oh, man. What does that say? Zero and pass. Zero and pass, guys. Yesterday, I got so angry at Jeff. But you know what? He cleaned the kitchen and he showed me he wants to learn. Awesome. Now it's time to cook, guys. Good job. Thank you. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.